it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and I'm about to show you a beer today that you guys, the subscriber base, the people who watch my channel, have been asking me to review for years and I've never been able to find it. Now, I'm a little bit old fashioned in the way that I buy things. I like to go to a shop, I like to pick it off the shelf and I like to, like that compulsive buy, that buy, bring it home, it's yours. Um, I've never really, even though I kind of work online with this YouTube channel, I've never really been one to scroll through websites buying stuff. Thankfully, because I'd be buying everything, wouldn't I? You know, I'd be, can you imagine the beer that I would be buying if I had that? I just don't have that instinct to go online and buy stuff online. I probably could have done this, is what I'm trying to say about this beer. I could have bought this and reviewed this years ago. But I was in my local European store, believe it or not, uh, like a Polish store, um, and I come across this. Broughton Old Jock Scotch Ale, 6.7% ABV, 500ml bottle, brown glass. They've been brewing since 1979, the year of my birth. Red bottle cap. Described as strong and bold. Yeah, so I finally got round to it. I probably have at least three comments every month. People asking me, can you review Old Jock Scotch Ale? Finally got it. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass. A multiple award winning beer, this has won many awards. It's not often, is it? When you think of Scottish wee heavies, Scotch ales, it's it, it's a very it's a very important beer style, wee heavy and scotch ale. It's very important to the Scottish people. But apart from this one, the old jock, which is very famous, there's not really a beer that, that a brand that's really kind of nailed this style. It's good. What I'm trying to say here is that old jock It's good that they kind of they've managed to kind of get people to think about this beer style and, and, and want to buy it because they know the brand It's become a brand in its own right. One finger. Very small, one finger, half a finger, white head, good levels of carbonation. Uh, it's deep, very, very deep mahogany coloured beer. Looks like a Scotch ale. Let's get the aroma. Oh yeah, this is perfect for the for, for today actually. It's um Kind of overcast here today, a little bit of drizzle in the air. Maybe eight degrees outside. Perfect to warm you up, you know, it's definitely got that kind of it's gonna give you a cuddle for the from the inside out, this one. Biscuity, bready, nutty. Hoppy, a little bit of a hop aroma coming through. Toffee, maybe a touch of licorice. Smells fantastic, let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Now this cost me, it was about £2.75 to buy this bottle in my local European store. <clears throat> it's really good. But I'm going to say something. I'm going to come out, just come out with it straight away. I was expecting a little bit more mouthfeel. 
I was expecting a little bit more in the way of a stickiness from the malt. Just a little bit more of a creamy, rich mouthfeel. It, it seems, for a Scotch ale, slightly thin. But then again, like any, like anything that's really kind of lit up and people want to try and, and drink. Well known, for anything well known, they must sell a lot of this in, in Scotland. So it's always a case of when you have to kind of brew a lot of it, the quality suffers only a little bit, but the quality suffers. And and the first thing you notice when the quality suffers in the beer is the mouthfeel. It's always that kind of, oh, you're expecting like a, a, a you're thinking Scotch ale, you know, big, thick, creamy, rich, full on. It's just lacking a little bit. It's a bit thin. It's a bit thin. You know, it's it's six point seven percent ABV. You really would expect a little bit more body from that malt in the beer. They've had to put quite a lot of malt in this beer to to get it to six point seven percent alcohol by volume. But in terms of flavour. I tell you what it reminds me of. It reminds me of Adnams Broadside. Of course, Adnams is on the south coast of the UK. They're not going to call themselves. They're not going to call it beer a Scotch ale, are they? But but Adnams Broadside is similarly a big, strong, multi. Brew. What would what would broadside be? Broadside would probably be like a just a just an English strong ale. That's what they would call that. An a, a English strong ale broadside. Whereas this is a a Scotch ale, or you know, we got one here. Um, some breweries choose to call them. This is this is made in Finland, by the way. This is a wee heavier, eight point five percent ABV. But you get the idea, don't you? That there's a tartan on that can that'll be coming to the channel soon biscuity bready nutty touch of licorice nicely carbonated i'm glad i tried it i'm glad i'm glad i reviewed it it's nice it's one of those beers i could have two of these i would want another one I would want another one. It's a, it's more of a sessionable. To to call a six point seven percent ABV beer sessionable is is quite remarkable, isn't it? But you you would definitely want another one. It's it's not a big overpowering beer. When you think Scotch ale, you're thinking that might be a bit you know one's enough type of thing. But no, you could you could definitely drink two of these, and I think that goes in the beer's favour. Be shouting at the TV after two, mine, wouldn't you? Uh, old Jock Scotch Ale is a masterclass in Scottish brewing, proving that the simple things in life deliver the best reward. A beer of substance, rich and full-bodied, with intense caramel aromas and roasted bitterness. Maltiness, sorry. Roasted maltiness, sorry. Uh, complemented by fruity first gold, pearl and fuggles hops, the original award-winning Old Jock is the perfect companion to the finest food. Slaint, slant, slante, slaint, cheers. Uh, pale ale and roasted barley, the malts and the hops of Fuggles first gold and pearl. Um, I can imagine them barrel aging one of these. I reckon they could, they could probably get away with barrel aging something like this, get it up to about 12% ABV. I reckon that would be incredible. You probably can buy, you can probably buy a reserve version of this in Broughton, around the Broughton area. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it, um, but it's a little bit thin. 
It's an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.